everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I am your host, Brugly, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining a backrooms level that might be a portal back to the earth. Or it could be another fake exit that the backrooms just loves to throw at us. Either way, this level is called the barrier, and I think it is a great level, and it kind of gives me hope that there is some kind of way to escape the infinite labyrinth of the backrooms. Let's get into it, shall we? Also, help my second channel get to 50k, please. Thank you. Backrooms level the barrier is classified as a class undetermined because, to be honest with you, not much is known about it. It seems safe, but it almost has no information about it at all. When or if you go to this level, you will wake up in a grass field outside of a tree line. The field is full of rolling little hills and lush grass, and these hills and grasses lead into a big, thick, dense population of woods. This wooded area has lakes and abandoned cabins and all sorts of different types of trees in it. It kind of gives you a sense of nostalgia because it feels almost like the woods from reality, our Earth. The liquid in the lakes doesn't seem to be water, which is weird, but it is drinkable, and there's even been fish seen swimming in it. So I guess you can get in it if you want to. Also, it's pretty weird that fish are in lakes here because normally bodies of water in the back rooms are empty. So that might mean this is somehow aligned with Earth. The cabins I mentioned earlier are abandoned, but as far as we know, they're safe to go into. Inside of the cabins, you'll notice that they're just like Earth's. Most of them have a small kitchen area and a bedroom slash living area together as well. Sometimes though, people have been seen walking into the cabins and never coming out. It's thought that when this happens, the person is likely sent to level negative 188, so watch out for that. But again, inside of the cabins feels like home. It feels like you're in an earth cabin. And to add to that feeling, every once in a while, you'll see a wild animal running through the woods. And these animals aren't just any backrooms creature though, they're animals from from real life, like completely normal ones. Deer, bear, moose, literally like real creatures, real creatures from Earth. Except these creatures aren't aggressive, they're more docile and friendly. But between the relaxing feelings of the woods and the home feeling of the cabins and the exact animals from real life, you might get the sense that this level is connected to Earth somehow some way because so far it feels like you're just there already now there are some other weird things that happen in the barrier level as well like sometimes it'll just completely downpour the rain here and the rain itself will cause the sky and the air to turn different colors and to swirl together the rain also changes the barrier's temperature drastically which is pretty weird because it doesn't happen to that extent in real life there are some other weird things that happen here as well. One of those weird things is actually how you get to this level. If you notice at the beginning, I didn't say when you get here, I said if you get here, because barely anybody can. To get to this level, it is done by following a glint in the sky for weeks on end. Now a glint is like a light or a shining blinking thing. The glint can appear in any level and it can be seen when traversing or going between different levels as well. It sort of calls you to it and draws you in and you know you're supposed to be following it. You just know you have that feeling. However, this glint does not appear to everyone and evidently only a few people can even see it. And even out of those few people who can see it, almost none of them make the full journey to the barrier level and they end up giving up or perishing along the way. Sometimes a person could have followed the glint in the sky for weeks and then randomly lost it and they were forced to stop. But for the very few who have made it to the barrier, they saw the level I just described. Rolling fields leading into woods dotted with cabins. Now this is where it gets tricky. It's thought that if you go deep into the woods, there is supposedly a massive tower placed there. It's been nicknamed the viewing point, and there is no known purpose for it other than just to be weird. But it's somewhere past that tower where there's supposed to be a location to get back to Earth. Now the exact possible location for this 
quote unquote portal to reality has not been found. Like I said earlier, no one knows if it actually exists or if it's just folklore or made up or whatever, but people have been seen going into the woods and have never been heard from, seen, smelt, or anything again. So they have to go somewhere, right? I mean, they're not just walking off the face of the earth, or are they? People think since this level is so similar to how reality looks, that it itself is some kind of gateway. Like the woods itself will eventually transition over to the woods from earth. I mean, the wilderness, the cabins, the animals, they're all like the ones on earth, and even the air feels the same. What do you think? Do you get back to reality by wandering deeply into the woods? Or do you end up like the nameless people who have walked in and have never walked out? There's thought to be one colony outpost in the barrier, but the people who are a part of it, uh, they don't talk. <laughs> and they don't even open their mouths at all. No one knows why, but they could be hiding some kind of secret. To enter this level, you have to be one of the lucky few to have seen the light in the sky and then follow it until you get here. Now, if you truly see the light, then it'll only take you to the levels that take place outside for an unknown amount of time until you make it to the barrier. To exit the barrier, you can walk into the woods for a very, very, very low chance of being sent to reality, if that's even how it works. <laughs> we still don't know. It's just heavily speculated that that's how it would work. Or you can walk into a cabin and be sent to level negative 188. Or you can just sometimes randomly get sent wherever the level chooses. It almost seems like the level has some sort of brain or consciousness because it chooses who gets led here and it chooses who gets sent out or not. What do you think? Do you think the woods of the level eventually fade into a forest from Earth? And if you walk deep enough into them, will you just walk into a national park or a forest? Or do you think that it's not a real exit and the back rooms or something or someone lures people deep into this level for evil reasons? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for the video. I do hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching until the end. I appreciate it. Comment the keyword Barrier Brugly if you are still here. And if you do that, I'll slap a heart on your comment. As always, you know the drill. Go do it. Thank you for your support. And thank you so, 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 so much for interacting with the content. I love and appreciate all of you. The channel is almost to 500,000. And I... I, I can't believe that number. That is ridiculous to me. If you want to help me get there, if you want to see me in the full backrooms outfit, then drop a sub. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to get there. I have so much planned for that special, so much planned after that. Y'all are just amazing. I, I have the best fan base ever, and I truly am just so grateful for all you do. Make sure to comment below your theories on this level and also what other levels you want me to go over while you're down there. Check any links in the description you want. Sub to my second and third channel if you want to help out. Thank you for everything you do for me, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.